Hi, I'm Michael, and this is my first ever plastic model kit preview. I uh, decided to do this for the up well, the current uh, F4 Phantom SIG on International Scale Modeler, and I happened to pick up a original 79 issue of a monogram F4 Phantom 2. Here it is in the original plastic wrap, just like I picked it up at the local dime store. Upon opening the box, you see several olive drab sprues. We've got a loose uh, cockpit tub. And the clear parts were also packed loose and they're, they're, they're quite wavy but not scratched. They're usable. And a smaller sprue, some smaller pieces. Uh, fuselage half, some sparrow missiles. Uh, landing gear parts, intake, another fuselage half. Got the upper wing sprues, drop tanks. Uh, the bottom of the fuselage and the bottom of the wing, some more missiles, sidewinders, uh, cockpit details. Loose Sparrow Missiles, a Loose Pilot Figure, minus an arm. Uh, instructions, these are old school instructions there. One large fold-out sheet, not near as nice as the new Rebel version of this kit, it has a nice booklet. Some uh, painting schemes, decal placement, but I'm sure they're good enough. And a decal sheet, shiny, thick, uh, but not too yellowed. And the register is, yeah, it's just okay. I'll probably use them anyway. So, see if we can get a little closer on some of these details. At the bottom of the wing, it's uh, all raised detail, panel lines, rivets. But uh, it's pretty good detail. There's a wheel, wheel well for the front wheel. Got the uh, instrument panel. That should paint up okay. Plastic is quite shiny. But uh, there's a door inside of the door. Wheel door is a uh, pretty good detail there. Let's see what else we got. The upper wings and the drop tanks. Once again, plenty of raised detail. If I was a little bit crazy, I'd sand this off and rescribe, but I don't have the, the skill or patience for that. That's on the flip side. No. Intake splitters, pretty good detail. Not a whole lot of flash, a little tiny bit of flash there. That's what's cool about buying these old original issues. You don't have the flash that you get in the the, the Revel uh, repops. A little bit of wheel well detail, some hoses. Copyright date. Well, none of this is monogram copyright. No date on it. But the box said 1979. And one giant fuselage. I normally build 72nd scale, so this is quite a departure for me. I don't even know have a space to put it. Raise detail on the rudder. Pretty good rivet detail on the exhaust shield. Rester hook. More race panel lines. Speed brakes. Pretty good detail on the inside of those. Some cockpit detail. Don't know how well you're going to see it once it's closed up. Some nice riveting. And 
The other fish alarms have is pretty much the same. And got some uh, different cockpit detail on that side. Now, one thing I should have done is had a separate nose cone because I'm going to have a, one huge long seam I'm going to have to deal with once it's assembled together. Some more detail parts. We got the intakes. It's pretty good uh, riveting and panel lines on that. It's on the inside. Yeah. Smooth-ish. Landing gear pieces. A bit chunky. Some injector pin marks. Pretty presentable. No flash whatsoever, really. Some underwing stores, landing gear door, nose wheel, land nose gear, main wheels, pretty good detail, crisp, next to no flash. Got a crew member. And this look pretty good too. Hardly any flash. Nice original molding. Ejector seat handles. Okay. Got some pylons on this sprue with some uh, stabilators. Plenty of rivet detail. Like I say, I'm just going to leave all the raised panel lines. Do some pre shading, get a good paint job. I think it'd be presentable. Exhaust cans. Pretty much no detail inside. And minimal detail on the outside. Maybe if I find something on eBay at a good price, I'll get some resin examples. Got the, the cannon pod. Not especially good detail on the on that. I probably won't use it. I just don't like the way it looks once it's on the plane. Instrument panel could really use a resin cockpit. I mean, it's pretty good detail, but it's all outlined. Not very. Uh, I don't know. Not very authentic looking. I may try and squeeze a Hasegawa resin kit in there control stick let's see the cockpit tub I mean for its day it's not bad seat belts and all the instrument panels are outlined I don't know how accurate these are I didn't get some references So there's the uh, the monogram uh, F4 Phantom 2 from uh, 1979. It should be a fun build, and hopefully it goes together smoothly. But uh, I probably won't start it till uh, about a couple weeks on the road. I gotta get some other kits cleared off the bench, and uh, I'll keep you guys uploaded. And uh, happy modeling.